The interview series is called Mind Wide Open. It is a mental health focused interview series that I launched in honor of my dad. I launched it on his birthday last year, actually July 20th. I was really struggling with my mental health in the midst of the pandemic, which, and it was coming up on the anniversary of my dad's passing. For me, one of the things that's gotten me through is truly like, you're not the only person that's dealing with that and nothing is permanent. I wanted to create a centralized resource where people could get completely free, completely accessible mental health advice. Where did the name come from? The name came from one of my dad's songs, actually. Sleep is the eyes closed to light, death is the mind wide open. It's been so powerful to me, but it also got me thinking, especially after he passed, like there are so many ways to have your mind wide open. You know, there are so many other ways. And I and I truly believe like one of those things is talking about it, talking about mental health, talking about the thing around it and talking about how we feel like that's, you know, that's mind wide open for me. You know, I don't know if I've ever been that comfortable giving advice. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good at taking advice. <laughs> you know, I think I'm coachable. What do you think the impact is for fans of anyone that you interview to see this person who they love in this way talking about things that they may be experiencing in their own lives. I had Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses speak about it and most of the comments I got were like, I have admired this guy my whole life and like we struggle with the exact same things and I, I just think there's so much power in that. How did you get comfortable stepping into your power in talking about this and how would you encourage other people to do the same? A huge part of it for me has been having my mom as someone who models for me vulnerability and who cultivated a space for me where I could be vulnerable and, and be honest about how I was feeling. Because one of the scariest things can be being vulnerable with someone and have them kind of throw it in your face or use it against you later or whatever. But um, at the end of the day, like that has nothing to do with you that, and everything to do with them. Okay, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> What does it mean to you to destigmatize talking about our mental health? One of the things that I always come back to is like, I truly believe that um, suicide rates and suicide attempt rates would be so much lower if it was something that we were talking about in an open platform and just in our day-to-day -day lives. That's all I can hope for is that people are, are watching and having conversations. <laughs>